Hi, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Groceryland. This week, our frugal budget for two people was $84.61, and we did get some bigger ticket items and some stock ups, quite a few stock ups, um, perhaps in preparation for some holiday feasts to come. So I'm always thinking of what might be uh, useful for us in the future when I see great buys. Check out what we're able to get this week. The meal video will upload on Friday. And two things to think on, two things to ponder on. I have been asked to um, upload a Q&A video, question and answer video. So if you have any questions, you can actually leave it in the comments here. Uh, you can leave it as a comment on the Adventures in Groceryland Facebook page. I'm on that platform too. Or you can send me a private message to Adventures in Groceryland on the Facebook platform. Um, that's number one. Number two, uh, we are thinking of starting a challenge. So put your thinking caps on. We are putting ours on. We haven't set the parameters of the challenge yet. We're just kind of in the talking stages. We were thinking that we would go back to the basics. The very first challenge that I ever did um, on the Adventures in Grocery Land channel was a $21 per person challenge starting from scratch with two people. So that meant the total budget for our household was $42. $21 available per person each week. And so we shopped with that $42 um, total budget and we built a pantry from scratch um, at that time. The only things that we had available to us were some items that I had um, made that were preserves that we made ourselves. So we're kind of thinking of getting back to the basics and doing that, but let me know your thoughts. This week, I spent $84.61 on groceries, and the majority of these items are just stock up items. I shopped at Costco, Walmart, Bargain Harley's, Giant Tiger, and Superstore. Let's get started. The first thing that we purchased was an in-store clearance that Giant Tiger had. It is popcorn shrimp, and these were on for $5.97 a bag. So 680 grams. This was a the local store only in-store markdown. They were just clearing out some of their items and we picked up two bags like popcorn shrimp. So we figured that was a really great price uh, to stock up in the freezer. Also got celery that was on for $1.97 and two packages of 900 gram Primo macaroni. These were on for $1.77 each. The grand total at Superstore, or sorry, Giant Tiger, was $17.45. Then I shopped at Superstore, and you'll see in the background these shrimp skewers. This is definitely the weekend of shrimp. Uh, they had these on uh, the Flash Food app for $3.99. So if you can see here, these are raw um, grilling shrimp skewers. There are six skewers in the pack with five shrimp each on each skewer. So 360 grams. They are marinated. The, they're peeled with the tail on. So these are perfect for barbecuing. I was actually pretty excited to get these on the Flash Food app. There is a service fee now on the app. So $3.99 times three plus the fee was $12.66. And then I actually decided to grab one of the pineapples that they had on for $2.50. So this is pretty big pineapple. Uh, and with the service fee, it worked out to $2.65. We also purchased a three pack of rainbow peppers and they were $4. We shopped at Bargain Harley's. So I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see. This was a Bargain Harley special, three for 99 cents. And this was made with natural beef stock. This is beef bouillon. So there are six cubes in the package and each package was 33 cents. So I got three of those. We shopped at Walmart. Um, the handsome one actually picked this up for me. I told him to get lactose free yogurt. He was already going to Walmart to pick something up there. So it's always very great when I don't ask him to make an additional stop. So he came home. Uh, he said, this is all they had that was lactose free. 
at the time that he was there. And this was $4.87. And I'm happy with that. I'm actually going to, in the future, try to make yogurt. So you need yogurt to make yogurt. You need some some little bit left over of starter. And in my mind, I was thinking I want to try to make lactose free yogurt. So that means I'll need lactose free cream, lactose free starter. And we'll see if I'll be able to, in the future, make some yogurt. That'd be good. Um, and that's all we had at Walmart. Then I shopped at Costco. Uh, I got the Jet Dry. It was $9.99. Of course, that's a taxable item. So that worked out to $11.50 or $11.49. And the Bacon Bits. This is our preferred spot to pick up Bacon Bits. And they weren't on my list. But when I walked past, they were on an end aisle and they were $9.99. I know for a fact that... They've previously been $12.99 or $13.99. So I just picked up a bag. It wasn't on sale. It was just the regular price. And that put the grand total for Costco at $21.49. And then I picked up two items at Gateway. I'm not in Gateway very often. And this was a pretty small um, shop. But sometimes, depending on, there's two Costcos in the local um, city. One is on one side of the, the river, one's on the other side or harbor. Um, and I usually go to the other one, which is not beside Gateway. But this this day, uh, we were at the one that was close to Gateway. So we popped in there. We got these fish cakes. We've had these before and we've really enjoyed them. So buying a product that I already know that we like, that is a very good value from Gateway, they were $12.50. And then they actually had ribs on sale for $1.99 a pound. Um, and I picked up a great big package. So we'll have ribs up and coming sometime soon. So the grand total at Gateway was $20.50. Pretty moderate shopping, but when you're buying these bulk items, it certainly adds to your bottom dollar. Um, you know, $11.50 just for Jet Dry for the dishwasher, but that's such a phenomenal buy. It was actually on sale this week. Um, so like I said, the majority of these things are stock ups. We're not going to be eating those anytime soon. I actually still have open bacon bits in the fridge. So this will just go in the pantry. Um, obviously we're not going to be eating six, 12, 18 shrimp skewers. Those will go in the freezer. Same with the popcorn shrimp, but just really happy to have these items and to be able to stock up on things that I know we like. Um, and who knows, we might even just set aside a bag of this popcorn shrimp and save it for Christmas because that was a great deal and that would be a really fun finger food um, to have at a family event. Now that you've seen the items that we were able to purchase this week, um, yeah, some of those are stock up items like the bacon bits. We don't need those now, but that was a great price. So I wanted to pick that up while it was on for a great price and just pop that right in the cupboard. Uh, also the popcorn shrimp. I'm thinking that one of those bags that we should just save that flat out um, to go towards our Christmas holiday festivities, whether it's a function here at my house, whether it's a function at a family's house, I'll have started gathering items to take. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty pleased. Let me know what you think about the groceries and I hope you guys have a great week.